How's it going, internet? Today I'm rolling out a guitar lesson by King Gizzard and the Wizard Lizard, The River. It's, it's beautiful, it's sexy, it's psychedelic. It's one hell of a jam. Without wasting any time, let's, let's get into, the, let's get into the, the music. We're in the key of B. You know, I think a good place to start out would be with the two chords that seem to persist throughout the entire song. Uh, it's a B minor 7. And then whatever the hell this is called. Alright. Once you got those chords down, we got a rhythm guitarist, and then we have the lead. So we got the melody that goes along with the singing, um, and that goes a little bit like this. And I'll teach you the scale that this comes from later on in the video. So. time. Now, of course, I'm exaggerating this part. Wait, not that part. You don't want to take your finger off and then hit the E string. I recommend just barring and letting this hand do all the work. So anyway, the next part goes like this. And you want to end it on the root note of the low E string, B. So that goes... and a pull off. Here's the pull off. Now at this part of the song it goes da, da, da. Da, da, da. a bunch of little ad libs and um, no matter what version the, the band is playing whether it be live it's always the same ad libs. I think it would be useful to teach you guys. Um, what's what's going on? What is what is Stu playing? So we go. That was one of the ad libs. Next one goes. Just you can either bar your your finger right here on these on the G and B string, or you can just use two individual fingers to do the work for you and just shake them and wiggle them. Not a full bend, but something like that. Next one is, we're barring these bottom two strings. I think I butchered that, hold on. And then, well, let me play that slower. So this part of the song where it goes, boom, it's like a power chord structure here, and kind of inverted, root notes, this note at that time, so it goes, half step, full step. pretty much it. So far we've gotten this. Alright, and then we go.
Last thing I want to teach you guys before you leave is um, a scale. The scale where all this is coming from. Um, knowing this will allow you to improvise if you're ever playing with other people, if you just want to play along with the track. But essentially, it goes like this. The start in its natural position, root note, where your pointer finger is, bing. And it goes like this. So to give you some more flexibility, you want to play somewhere else in the neck. We got this position where you have the root note with your pinky. <sighs> Getting better here. Okay. position you can play is down here. Thank you guys for watching. That is that is all there is to know. Of course you can go find some even more positions to play and improvise in but um that's all i got that's all i got to teach you guys and thank you for watching do whatever you do on the youtube subscribe leave a comment if you have any requests like the video that would be helpful thank you for watching